Welcome to Indigo Touch. Today we are talking about people who have water dreams and um, have no idea what to do with those dreams. <laughs> So usually the first response is if you dream of water, take some candles, take this and that and that, go to the water, go ask Kambotela. But um, there's something that I feel like we need to talk about before we get deep, deep, deep into this video. We need to talk about how we are continuously asking and we don't give as much as we take. So let's say, for example, let me just use water since we are talking about water anyway. We go to water, you go to Kela in water, you need a job, you get a job, fine, and then you get paid, you buy a bag of nectarines, for example, and then get home, you eat these nectarines, they are ibete that are left, you take as obete, you put them in the dustbin, and then Umaspala collects the 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 dustbins, the 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 garbage, and then we have no idea where those pits went. How about taking that pit la bede and germinating it and planting it back into nature as a way of saying thank you. That is something we don't do enough. We are constantly taking and taking and taking and taking. And we need to reconsider Londok. But sometimes an invitation to nature is not to go take. It's not tata. Sometimes it's just sit with us. Sometimes it's just nurture us. You get to the water. If you see some dirt alongside the river bank, picking up the trash and just cleaning the place a bit. That is a way of saying thank you. That is a way of giving back. So getting into the topic, I think I've already transitioned into it. So when we get dreams of water, it does not always mean Uba, we need to go ask. Sometimes it means Uba, visit that water source and just observe the water have an understanding of how water communicates i was reading an article i'm not sure by Bistin, but um, it was about how people have this relationship with water creatures such that the water creatures do not even they 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 move they move when people need to fetch water eat crocodiles they don't even uh, attack these people they just swim away and then come back when the people are done fetching water and that is how we used to be that is who we used to be we used to go to the waters and we will communicate with the animals but we need to get some water and no one would ever be mauled by a crocodile back in the day and we lost that because we lost connection with nature so this is a call for people to go back to the waters and understand the language of water because once you sit there you will understand ukuba when the water is acting like this this is happening this is the state of my emotions personally but also sometimes it is the state of the environment around the water so um, it is important to also consider, but it's not all about asking. Sometimes it's just an invitation. Come sit with us. Come, just come, come, come sit with us. Come visit. Come, uh, come chat. You know, <laughs> in a way. So it's not at all about taking. Some sometimes it's just a matter of going to um to the river, to the waterfall, to the ocean, and just observe the water and just download information because while you're sitting there, the water is sending information and. And, you know, it's going to make sense later if it's, it, if the, it's not making sense at that moment. And um, also, it may be a call to give back. Like I said, I, that's why I felt like I've already said um, something about, about giving back to the water. Some people will... Um, Nikeloabo will be coins. Uh, some people will to opt for umnikelo which is going to benefit the animals but also benefit is nindao around the rivers for example umnikelo in the in the form of seeds in the form of um of seeds like putting the seeds into the water what's going to happen is some fish may eat the seeds um some aquatic life may eat the seeds but also the seeds are swept by the river and eventually these seeds will re will reach a river banks as tile and will germinate and become trees and those trees will help someone else who needs food those trees will help people wherever they land so that is the greatest omnigel of all the one that will that will um that will benefit other people that will benefit um 
other life forms and not just for our own benefit because when you think about it i'm not saying throwing a coin is wrong but um let's think of it this way i just need uh, i just need words to put this <laughs> let's think of it this way when we are throwing a coin it is accompanied by is it is accompanied by requests so sometimes if you feel like okay i do not want to request today i want to give back then you know sometimes a coin may not be the best in that case it may be simply be a matter of like i said seeds or maybe just picking up papers along the river bank or just doing something that's going to benefit the river you know small gestures are very very big uh, there's nothing small when it comes to our interaction with nature our interaction with a spirit with energy and so on and so forth so um yes this is all i feel like i left out in that video